Hi there, this is a quick tip for how to show custom classes in the editor. So let's say I want to set up an array of enemies to spawn and I want to set that array in the editor. I could just have three separate arrays like I have in here and as you can see all three of them are there and now I can move around my scene and set my values. Here in the code it is set up like this. However, this is obviously not a good idea. We have data that is supposed to be connected but is split over multiple arrays. We could easily get an error if one of these arrays is a different size than the others or if we just put a value in the incorrect index. So naturally what we should do, since all of this information is meant to be connected, is create a class or a struct to handle each specific spawn info. So in here we define a private class and we're going to call this a spawn info. And now in here we're going to have each individual field for what we need. And instead of having all of these arrays, we should replace all of these with an array of spawn info. So just like that, we have our data correctly grouped. However, in doing this, if we go back into the editor, as you can see, nothing appears. This is because the editor only shows the default data types. But we can go back to our code, and in here on our private class, we're going to add the attribute serializable which is inside the using system namespace. When we apply this attribute to a custom class, we can now go back into the editor, and yep, there's our spawn info array since our class has been serializable. So now I set a size of one, there you go, an element, and yep, it contains all the information in my spawn info. So now I can add as many elements as I want, and now they are correctly set up. Element zero has this position, this health move speed, and so on. So the data that we need is now grouped logically. And again, our array is private and serializable instead of being public. And that's it. Hope you found this tip useful. All right, see you next time.